It's an old aquascape system. The biggest thing is just kind of give it a facelift. If you put a kitchen in 15 years ago, I would imagine your kitchen needs a facelift at this point. And this pond is no different. You see these roots? When I see that first initial thought is that's kind of cool. Second, where is that coming from? And then if I look a little closer, look at the size of this root. Jumped up and over the liner. This root came off of that maple tree, jumped over, and that's a big problem. You can see it's only been a couple weeks. The fish are loving their new pond. They've nailed it. Good morning everybody, it's Nick here from Team Aquascape and we are about to start our next job in the southwest suburbs of Chicago. We just showed up waiting on our other truck, Rock got here, which doesn't happen very often, but we are lucky today that actually beat us here and the man, the myth, the legend is with us for what, I don't know, five minutes maybe today? Yeah, five minutes. Good. I'll give you 15. Oh, perfect. Right? I'll tell you what, like some of these last few projects really feels like we're going back to basics. You know, we don't have machines out on there, ball carts, shovels, wheelbarrows. It it reminds me of when I first started and we ran the entire company from one Ford F-150. And this job is just like that. We don't need a machine. We've got our tree dolly, our ball cart. We've got some wheelbarrows. We've got five strong backs, some shovels. And we're gonna turn what I think at one point used to be a really nice looking pond into a much better pond. You'll see what I'm talking about. Come on, I'll show you what we're doing. This is not so often that we have a, a running pond okay. when we show up. It actually holds water. It's actually not bad. You can see the fish are healthy. It's an old aquascape system. This was classic skimmer. You know, it had the old fake rock lid, the old net that kind of went down in there. We're gonna update that skimmer box for them. I think we got some more lights coming in. The biggest thing is just kind of give it a facelift. I guess the easiest comparison or analogy I can give you, if you put a kitchen in 15 years ago, I would imagine your kitchen needs a facelift at this point. Maybe it was 10 years ago, maybe it was even 25 years ago. And this pond is no different. It's not that there's anything really wrong with it. You can see the ecosystem's great, the fish are healthy, the, pot, the water is clear. It's just that the technology, the style has changed. And so the very first thing we're gonna do is move that waterfall. That waterfall there, really needs to come over to this corner. When I move it to this corner, they'll see it better from their patio over there. More importantly, this giant tree doesn't block it. So right now, this tree comes right in line with the waterfall towards the patio. So we'll get that waterfall over here. We're gonna replace these rotted timbers with some new ones, get a little bit more height out of that fall, and get a nice little drop coming down into here. Then we're gonna take the skimmer box, and obviously if the waterfall is there, then the skimmer box has gotta move to this side. That's not rain. <laughs> that was the rain that happened earlier and it's blowing off the trees. So we'll get the skimmer box over in here and get this updated. Now this is kind of interesting, Nick. Look at this. You see these roots? When I see that first initial thought is that's kind of cool. Second, where is that coming from? And then if I look a little closer, look at the size of this root. Jumped up and over the liner. So you can see the liner here. Look how tight that cord is on the lights. So this root came off of that maple tree, jumped over, and that's a big problem. So we'll get that fixed as well. So as you can see, we have a couple problems to fix today, a couple problems to address. We're gonna get this thing torn out, put the fish in a tub, aerate it, make sure they're all taken care of for the time being while we take this thing from old to new. So we got some fish tubs that we brought along. We have all of our plywood, all of our supplies, tools, all of our product. So we're gonna get these fish out, put them in the tub, make sure it's aerated, they're well taken care of. So we can take this pond from old to new. So, like I said, our stone is here and the rest of our guys are here. So we're gonna be able to get this thing. One of the cool things when we have stone deliveries is that it comes in Moffitt. Perfect dump right there. Nice clean rock. We'll be able to ball cart all this back all the way down this nice long driveway right where all the trucks are parked. So we've only been here probably 30, 40 minutes tops and these guys have been destroying this pond. The fish are out in their home for the weekend. You can see over there, we got some plywood over it just so they don't jump out. Real quick in the skimmer here, Brian was talking about all these branches and roots and stuff that grow inside here. That is 100% leaking. This pond has been draining water through those roots for a while, you can tell. Not only do the roots suck up water, but it breaks that seal in between the skimmer and the liner, which is where your waterproof comes from when you're attaching that. So that's 
that's 100% leaking, but that's not a problem because we are tearing this whole thing out. New skimmer's going over there. New biofall is going right here. That's gonna get raised up a little bit. We're gonna change the shape of this. Maybe swing it out into that a little bit more. Oh, that was a hero shot. We're gonna go just a little bit deeper with this thing, 24 inch depth. That rock right there is very important. So we're gonna keep that as a cantilevered edge rock. Other than that, we're gonna have fun with this one. Oh. All right, so if you guys remember that root that Brian was talking about at the very beginning, we found it and I don't think it's as small as he thought it was. <laughs> Too strong, Corey. I just saw the bottom of it. <laughs> That's a big dog. Old pond is totally ripped out. Right now what we're working on is getting our retaining wall built up. Not a retaining wall that we would typically do, but the homeowner had timbers here before, so we're gonna basically rebuild what they had with newer timbers just for a little bit more structural integrity. Once that gets built up, we can set our biofalls up here, reshape our pond, skimmer over there, and then we are gonna be able to get liner and rocks in just in a short amount of time. Hmm. Skimmer hooked up over here. We are probably 60% of the way done rocking in the pond. They just threw that over the power head, but there's a power head right there. Waterfall obviously is gonna go right here. Skimmer's in, both of those are framed out. So now we're gonna bring that patio across here. This rock wall is gonna come back here. We got that one cantilevered stone here, and then that might take a little swoop back that way some more, just so we can bring that patio out over it. But we are making good progress here. Fish cave is also in, and we're rocking and rolling. That guy doesn't even work here. So here we are, this is Trevor's little bitch rock. So this rock is finally in. We're just kind of packing some stones underneath of this. This rock is very important to the client. They want a place where their grandkids can kind of walk out over the water and feed the fish and maybe dangle their legs in. First of all, I have to make this as safe as possible, but we also want to give it as much of a straight down edge as possible so that they're not going to cut their legs or anything on rocks underneath of this and they can just dangle those things right in. So this is almost done. Once this is done, we're going to transition over to the patio, which is going to go right behind me. Existing patio there, just flagstone patio. So we're just going to carry that back out over this edge as well. So there'll be two real places where they can kind of walk out and look down over the edge and feed the fish. Other than that, the waterfall is going to get started here shortly and uh, we are making good progress for the day. Beautiful day out too. All right, everybody, it's the end of the day. We are fortunately not gonna be able to get this all done today, but that's all right, because we got plenty of this knocked out for a few guys to come back on Monday. Take care of all this. What's up, guys? Out in Westchester, had a job the guys started on Friday. I wasn't here, but it looks like they got a lot done. So just some waterfalls to finish, and looks like we'll be out of here today. All right, guys, we got Micho over here working on the waterfalls. We got Udi working on the waterfalls over here. It's a nice waterfalls, Udi. What do you got going on over here? The biofall lid. Yes. So you got the biofall lid. So here's everything you need to put together biofalls. You need silicone, the biofall lid screws, and a poker, biofall lip, and a screwdriver. So right now, what do you just put silicone over all the screw holes in the faceplate? Now. It's the liner and the lip over the silicone. All right, so right now, Udi's doing a good job at foaming in the waterfall. Foamed all this in, all that, so we get a nice sheet coming off that rack right there. guys so it's almost three o'clock and the job is done the guys did an awesome job on these waterfalls I really like how it splits up in the middle got an awesome sound So 
this is really cool. I'm visiting back on a job that the guys finished up just less than a couple weeks ago. And one of my favorite parts is coming back to see what we've designed and more importantly, what the guys have built and how close did they get to my design. And I would say right now, they've nailed it. This is a rehab project. One of the big things we wanted to accomplish with this rehab was give the pond an overall facelift. It was kind of a pond that was missing some of the bells and whistles, missing some of, I guess more importantly, the new techniques we have with larger boulders framing out the waterfalls. But a big must for me was flipping it. The skimmer box used to be over here and the waterfall used to be over there. And one of the biggest changes on this is getting that waterfall visible from the customer's main viewing area over there. Now, not only do they see it from inside the house, but they also get to see it from their patio where they sit every single night and look back over in this area here. It's fun to create, but we do it for the reaction that every customer has at the end of every project. You can see it's only been a couple weeks. The fish are loving their new pond. That was another huge reason for redoing this, was giving their growing fish a lot more space. They were huddled into a small little spot that you could hardly fit a basketball in. Now they've got twice the amount of swimming space that they ever had before. We relocated some what I call destination boulders types of rocks that invite you to walk right up to them. Not only is this rock perfect for sitting down and feeding the fish, but if you ever wanted to sit down, roll your pants up, you could actually put your feet in here and really interact with these guys. I think the guys did a fantastic job. Love it, love it, love it. I know they love it so much that they have a landscaper coming out here tomorrow, they said, to come over and revamp everything. I can't wait to show you guys next year what this pond looks like after just one season growing. Hey, if you like this stuff, don't forget to hit like. Tell me what your favorite part is. Maybe it's the size. Maybe it's the frame rocks on the waterfall. Maybe it's the location. Tell me what your favorite part is and tell all your friends to subscribe. All right, do it again uh, next week.